Hi guys, I am Boran. Uh, in this video, I will be solving uh, a couple of questions about Gauss's law. So let's begin. In the first question, uh, we have a really long uh, straight metallic pipe. Uh, its diameter is 2a. This is 2a. Uh, and uh, the surface charge density is sigma. Uh, the question asks us that um, what is the electric field for both outside and inside of the pipe? Uh, so if you remember, uh, we will, by the way, solve this question with Gauss's, uh, Gauss's law. If you remember, Gauss's law says that uh, integral over a uh, closed surface, uh, E dA equals to uh, Q enclosed, divided by epsilon zero. Uh, so in order to have an electric field, we need to have charge inside a closed surface, if we have a closed surface, uh, surface or a volume. So uh, for the inside of the pipe, uh, for example, any closed surface, so uh, in, uh, I will take a cylinder, for example. Uh, uh, inside of this uh, closed volume, there is no charge, so uh, this is zero, and uh, therefore inside of the uh, pipe there is no electric field. Uh, for the outside, in order to solve this question easily, we need a symmetry uh, when we assemble the closed volume. Um, I will draw a cylinder outside, like this. So, uh, in this way we have symmetry. Um, I will explain again. And now we have, uh, for, for the closed volume, we need to integrate for all the um, surfaces. For the surface, at the up and at the bottom, uh, there is no electric flux, so integral over A, for example, A and B, A, B, B, A, equals to zero, also B, 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 A. So all uh, we will consider will be this surface on the side. Uh, Let's take this equation, cross uh, integral, E. Now uh, we will take an infinitesimal area, for example, this little uh, area is the dA. We have uh, a normal vector, so we can uh, open this as m of uh, dA. Now, uh, because of the dot product, this gives us, uh, these uh, vectors cancel each other. So we have E dA equals to Q, um, Q enclosed divided by epsilon zero. So now this is constant. D is constant goes to outside and Integral dA is equals to dA. Uh, Q enclosed will be uh, calculated as we have uh, only charge on the surface, so uh, the area of the surface 2p diameter of 2a, so 2pa times if the length of this cylinder is L, uh, L times sigma, uh, the surface. Uh, charge density divided by epsilon zero. Uh, now we should also calculate a. E times uh, a is remember this bigger surface two uh, p. Let's say r r times l equals to two p a l sigma divided by epsilon zero. So p and l goes. Electric field equals to uh, also two goes uh, sigma a divided by r epsilon zero. 
This is for r bigger than um, a less than infinity. Uh, so this was the most basic question you, uh, we, you we might solve. Uh, so I will solve another question with this principle. In this question, we have an infinitely large metal plate. Uh, its uh, charge density is sigma. I won't bother you with the um, numbers. I will just uh, give you the way to solve it. When you uh, in the exam, you can calculate them. So uh, we have a, a little ball with mass m and charge q, and it's hanged uh, with let's say l. L uh, length of mm -hmm. pipe. So um, the question is, uh, what is uh, this angle? In order to find that angle, we need to know the force um, caused by the plates. Let's say this F and F X. And we need to know the Fy so that this will be also the same angle. Uh, tan theta equal to Fx divided by Fy. So uh, calculating Fy is really easy. Fy, the magnitude of Fy equals to m times g yeah, so on my way the uh, g is given in the equation uh, in order to calculate fx we need to know uh, the electric field on the right on the that point uh, so we will also again uh, use Gauss's law uh, let's this time also, we will draw a cylinder, but let's rotate the cylinder like that, so that the point is on the uh, top surface of the cylinder. Um, this time, uh, because the plate is infinitely large, all the uh, electric field lines are outside of the plate and the other uh, in norm of the plate. And that's because, um, that causes that uh, on this um, side air surface, we have no electric flux, so we won't uh, put that uh, in our calculations. Uh, we only need A and B. Now, Gauss slow says F, Q and close, uh, divided by epsilon zero. Um, Again, you can just this, this is the dA. We have a non vector uh, E n. This is just E, by the way. So I will just write like that dA equals to Q, um, Q n close divided by epsilon zero. Um, this is constant, so E goes to outside. Integral of dA, again, A. I will just uh, write a in this this step. A is uh, P R. Um, let's put R here. P R scale. But uh, you need to pay attention that we have two P R on the that side and uh, in B. Two P R square equals to. Uh, QN close will be calculated as you know, this intersection uh, again R. So the area is 2P R, uh, no, P R square times uh, density. So this is the QN close divided by epsilon zero. Uh, so P goes, R scale goes, electric field equals to sigma over 2 epsilon 0. Now, um, in order to find fx, we need to um, 
multiply electric field with the Q. So fx magnitude x equals to q times electric field which is sigma over 2 epsilon 0 um, we will put these two uh, measurements into the uh, this equation so uh, theta equals to tan inverse tangent uh, q sigma over 2 epsilon 0 and g this is q yeah. this is the answer thank you